on the first day of Christmas, my captain gave to me a new ship on fair and float free. On the second day of Christmas, my captain gave to me a little to talk, sleepy cleats, and a new ship on fair and float free. On the third day of Christmas, my captain gave to me three Plymouth cloaks. And a, 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 a two TV cleats. And a new ship on fair and float free. On the fourth day of Christmas, my captain gave to me four carrots walking. Three Plymouth cloaks? What a chip with it, fellows? Stop What's the meaning of this execrable tackle Um, 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 Merry Christmas, Captain. The Plymouth Cloak. Odd, odd, hammer and toss. What right have you to be merry? What reason have you to be merry? Well, sir, I, I, um, yes. Christmas, you irredeemable prick is a mawkish, cloying, namby-pamby waste of time concocted by and for pusillanimous presents such as yourself. Christmas is a humbug. Uh, begging your pardon, Captain Sir, but I thought it was a, a holiday. No, Smee, what was in? The time for finding yourself a year older and not an hour richer. If I could work my will, every idiot who goes about with Merry Christmas on his lips should be boiled with his own pudding and buried with a stake of holly through his heart. Uh, do, does that mean you won't be exchanging gifts with the grocer? <sighs> For too long have I suffered these fools gladly. <laughs> Any more questions? Bosun Smee? Caught by the deadlights. Those chitty-bag cocks are just using Christmas as an excuse to get out of doing a dishonest day's work. Ah! What manner of prestidigitation is this? James! Oh, James! to converse with your indigestion. Come, James. There's something I want to show you. Ah, there's nothing I want to see. What you do or do not want is unimportant, James. It's Christmas. What better day to send these lovers on a long walk down short Johnny Blank? <laughs> Why have you brought me here? You know this place, then? No, it is. I live it. Good. Then let's take a closer look, shall we? Oh, and how do you propose to do that? Shall we simply fly down to the deck? Yes, exactly. Just remember, these people can neither hear nor see you, and you can do nothing to affect them. You men there, finish clearing the rigging from the main deck, and then gather the prisoners below. I'll review them. <laughs> Personally. Just Ah, James. Here, let me give you a hand. Jasper, get it. 
Hi, James. <laughs> A glorious feeling, isn't it? I let it is. From now on, brothers in arms. The brothers hook. <laughs> Scourges of the seven seas. <laughs> James! Cecilia! I see this young woman is familiar to you, Captain. Familiar? God brings them. Cecilia was my betrothed. I wonder, seeing her now, do you feel any regret? Regret? Never! Well, perhaps a little. So, James, I come west to join my husband to be on his short sojourn to Jamaica to replenish a few supplies. But this is what I find. Hi, Cecilia, so the truth is out. I'm no merchant. I've opted for the life of a buccaneer. It only serves to better provide for you when we're married. There'll be no marriage, James, and we both know it. Another idol has displaced me. A golden idol. Bah! I am no different. You are. We'll discuss it later. Spirit. Why do you delight in torturing me? Take me back to my ship. Not yet, James. We must view one shadow more. Now, men, to the victors go the spoils. <laughs> Graves. Merry Christmas.